Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Juan, I'm a yarn addict, hence the name Juan the Yarn Addict, and I want to thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by to check out my video today. So this is a yarn and crochet channel where we talk about all things yarn and all things crochet. So if that interests you, please stick around and watch my video because I guarantee you this is going to be an interesting one. So I decided to start a new series. This is the very first in a series of, I don't know how many yet, that I am going to be spinning this wheel and this wheel will dictate the pattern for me. I have no idea what it's going to land on, but this very first episode of the series is going to be spin the wheel beanie. So I'm going to show you what I have on the wheel just so you know like what kind of things may come up. The wheel is composed of stitches. So I am going to be spinning the wheel to come up with the stitches, whatever it lands on. I'm going to write it down on a piece of paper and I'm going to follow the sequence of what the wheel offers. So without further ado, let me just go ahead and readjust the camera and show you what exactly is on this wheel. One second. Okay, friends. All right. So here we are. I have the wheel laid down and I have this in a position for you to be able to see everything. What you're seeing are the actual stitch names, and what we're going to do is we're going to go around the wheel. I'm going to show you all the stitches before we spin. Um, this first one here is the popcorn stitch. The second one here is my choice. I get to pick if it lands on that. The next one is single crochet. The next one is double crochet. The next one is half double crochet. And then this pink one here is double crochet windows which would probably mean double crochet, chain one, skip one. And then now we have the V-stitch double crochet. And then this one is the front post and back post double crochet. That'll be fun. Then we're back at purple here. There's two sides to the purple. So again, purple is my choice because it's my favorite color. Next, back loop single crochet. Next here in the red is back loop double crochet. Then next in the blue, we have third loop half double. The next one here in pink is the moss stitch. And then the next one here in red, we have the V stitch half double crochet. And finally, we're back at the popcorn stitch. Okay, so I've made the decision to do a five row repeat. So we're only gonna spin the wheel five times. And then those five spins in that sequence is how I have to make this beanie. Okay, and you guys get to watch me actually make it. So I'm going to just do the, the first five rows, of course. Um, and then once I have the beanie done, you'll see it. I'll fast forward it and you'll see its completed situation. So, all right, without further ado, let's go ahead and spin this wheel. Okay. Okay, so for row one, we have half double crochet. I'm writing it down. Okay, so just showing you, I'm writing it down. All right, now let's spin the wheel a second time. Okay, back loop double crochet. That should be interesting. Okay. Now from here, we're going to spin again a third time for round three or for row three. My choice. Woohoo! Okay. So just based off of what I have here, we have half double crochet for row or round one, depending on how this lays out. The next one is back loop double crochet. So I'm trying to imagine this in my head. Back loop double crochet, half double crochet. Okay, I'm gonna want some sort of texture here because they're just straight stitches. I'm actually gonna go ahead from the back loop double crochet. Hmm. I wanna, I'm leaning towards either a puff stitch, but that's not one of the options, so I can't really use that. Um, we're gonna go popcorn here. Yep, I'm gonna put the popcorn. Popcorn stitch just showing you what i wrote popcorn stitch okay it's one of my many favorite stitches there's just so many you can't just have one favorite stitch but popcorn is up there 
All right, so let's go for row or round four. V-stitch double crochet. Love it. <laughs> V-stitch double, double, okay. And then now for row five or round five, because it might be a bottom up, we don't know. So let's go ahead and do this one. Double crochet. Okay. Double crochet. Okay, guys. So I'm going to give you guys a quick pause and we'll be back up to presentation view in one second. Okay, so that was interesting, right? Um, I know I haven't seen this on YouTube before, so yeah, I just had to put my thinking cap on and here we are. Okay, so five rows, five rounds, um, just based on the stitches that we got, we wound up with half double crochet for the first row or round, two, uh, for round two or row two, back loop double crochet, uh, and then we went into the popcorn stitch for round or row three, and then for round a row four, it was V-stitch double crochet. And then for a row around five, double crochet. Okay. So based on what I'm seeing here, we're just, we, it's safe to say we can go top to bottom. So we're going to do it in the rounds. Um, I have already gotten the color choice picked. I want to do... Um, for each row of five, I want to do gray and like a dark purple. So we're going to get started. As I said, this is a one-stop shop. We are going to go ahead and do the beanie. And by the end of this video, you will see what the beanie will actually look like completed. So I'm going to put you in tutorial mode and we'll go from there. Okay, one second. Okay, friends, so here we are. Um, the things that you're going to need if you're following me. Crochet needle. I'm using a six millimeter crochet hook otherwise known as a USJ. It's focusing on my hand. There we go. There's that. A pair of scissors. A darning needle to sew in your ends or our ends when we're done. Okay. And I decided to use my prim hook because I'm using a darker yarn. I'm not using my, my charcoal. I'm actually just using a, a medium gray, a Loops and thread Soft Classic. Okay, so as this spins depicted or forecasted for us, row, uh, row one, or round one, sorry, is going to be half double crochets. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to create a slip knot, just like that. However you do it is fine, as long as this is the result you get. And from here, we're going to go ahead and chain four. Just like that. And then we're going to take the head of our hook and go into the first chain. Grab the yarn, pull through to create a circle. Just like that. And we're going to go ahead and chain one. It's not going to be part of anything. And we're going to do 12 double, or I'm sorry, 12 half double crochets in the circle. One. Two, three, go ahead and continue around the circle here until you have 12 and I will meet you at the end there. Okay friends, so we have 12 half double crochets for round one. This is what it's going to look like and what we need to do is slip stitch into the first half double crochet, grab our yarn, Pull through just like that. You want to go ahead and chain one and then for round two it's back loop double crochet. So we're going to yarn over go right into this very first stitch but the back loop just do a half double crochet get some yarn here and we're going to do two back loop double crochets in every stitch and we're going to need 24 total stitches 
So just the back loop. I have to take my time here. <laughs> And if you get that, don't worry about that. That'll actually work itself out. I used to worry. It's coming apart. <laughs> it's still going to be there. Okay. So go ahead and do that. You want tw uh, sorry, 24 total stitches around here for round two. Going in the back loop, two double crochets in each one. And I'll see you when we get to here. Okay. So here we are with 24 uh, back loop double crochets for row or round two. And what we're going to need to do is go into our first stitch. Now the one, the one thing here is that since we chained one, this first stitch is going to be tilted over like that. Just pull it back like that. And then insert the head of your hook in the top there to seal the deal there. And that's what this needs to look like, okay? So for round three, round three is the popcorn stitch. Okay, so because of the nature of the stitch, what's going to have to happen is we're going to have to do a popcorn and then chain two and then do another popcorn chain two. Um, because technically we're supposed to have 36 stitches. And so we're going to use the chains as part of the growth here, just so it doesn't fold and buckle in the wrong ways. So just chain one there. And then what we're going to do actually, yeah, what we're going to do is go into this stitch and we're going to do five double crochets. Like so, like that, and then you're going to make a bunny ear. Then we're going to come back into this very first stitch, just tilt it over to the side, go into it, and then go into your bunny ear and pull down like this. Go back into the first stitch, like that, and chain one to lock it in, just like that. And now, what you're going to do is chain two. You're going to skip this next stitch, and then you're going to go and put another popcorn right into that stitch right there. Half double crochet five times for another popcorn stitch. Make your bunny ear. Insert the head of your hook into the first double crochet. Go into the bunny ear, pull on your working yarn, go through your first double crochet, chain one to lock, chain two to move on. And that's laying perfect, just as I hoped it would. So we're going to skip this one and we're going to go to the next one. And we're going to give this particular stitch five double crochets as we did in the last two popcorns. Make a bunny ear like I did there. Insert the head of your hook in the first double crochet. Go in the bunny ear, pull on your working yarn gently. Pull out of the first double crochet, chain one to lock it, chain two to move on. Okay? It's actually laying perfectly flat. So cool. Okay, so continue doing that all the way around, and I'll meet you at the end of the row here. Or round, I apologize. Okay, friends, so I just finished round three, which was the popcorn stitch. And right now what we have are 12 popcorns. And once I close this, we will have 12 chain spaces. Okay, so for round four, it's the V-stitch double crochet. So... What I like to do is when I close around with popcorns, I like to take the head of my hook and go inside the popcorn here, grab the yarn, pull through, and then just slip. 
like that. Okay. And so from here, I'm just going to chain one. And what I need to do is I need to put a V stitch double crochet on top of each one of these popcorns. But for the traditional V stitch, what normally happens is you do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. But to keep up with stitch count, what I need to do is chain one in between the V stitches um, as well. So actually, no, I don't. Nope. Don't listen to me. So we're going to go ahead and that's me thinking on the fly. Okay. So I'm going to go inside the popcorn here. Double crochet. Chain one. Go back in there. Do a double crochet. Do I? Go in. Sorry, hit the, hit the camera there. Chain one. A double crochet. I'm going to go ahead and do that to the top of every popcorn like that. I can already tell you it's going to cup in, but all will be corrected when we go to round five, which is the double crochet. So Go ahead and continue putting V stitches in the top of every popcorn, and then I will see you at the end of round four. Okay, friends, so I just finished round four, which was the V stitch double crochet. Okay, and I did that on top of every popcorn. Okay, and so now what we need to do is we need to go into the very first double crochet and Grab the yarn and lock it in. Okay, and there's our V-stitch. Just like that. So what we're going to do is chain one. And for round five, it's going to be double crochets. Okay, so as of right now, for round four, we have 36 stitches around here. What we need to do is go from 36 to 48. So in order to do that, what we need to do is go back into where we started which is this right here right there we need to do a double crochet in the first stitch double crochet in the next stitch which for us it's inside this v okay and in the next stitch which is the other side of the v stitch which is right there we need to insert two double crochets just like that. And then in the next stitch, which is this one right here, one double crochet. And then in the next stitch, which is the middle of the V stitch, one double crochet. And then in the next stitch, which is the other side of the V stitch, we want to do two double crochets. It's a pattern here. So one, one, two. Okay, so go ahead and repeat that all the way around. We'll do one more with you. So one, then inside the V, one, and then on the other side of the V, it gets two double crochets, just like that. All right, go ahead and do that, and I will see you at the end of round four. Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round five. So um, we ended the round with 48 stitches, um, the last stitch having two double crochets in the last stitch. And to now go back to the beginning of our repeat here, uh, round one was half double crochets. So up here for the next round, for round six, we're going to need to do half double crochets. So to close out round five, we need to take the head of our hook, go into the first double crochet from round five, grab the yarn and slip through and chain one. Okay. And now it's going to be, um, half double crochets and we're going to increase to 60. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to go back into the first stitch. Grab our yarn, 
go through everything, half double crochet, um, go into the next stitch, half double crochet, go into the next one, half double crochet. And now in the fourth one, we need to do twins in a stitch. So two half double crochets into the same stitch. And then in the next one, just one, and then one, and then one, and then now twins in a stitch. One and two. So that's the repeat here. Three half double crochets by themselves in a row. And then for the fourth stitch, twins in a stitch. So we'll do it again. Half double crochet, half double crochet, half double crochet, and then twins in a stitch. One and two. So go ahead and continue doing that. One, two, three, and twins in a stitch. Okay, so go ahead and do that and I'll see you at the end of the round. Okay friends, so I just ended round six, the half double crochets, and you should have a total of 60 half double crochets if you followed the pattern, which was um, three stitches by themselves and then the fourth stitch had twins in a stitch, okay? And so to close out round six, what we need to do is insert the tip of our hook into the very first half double crochet. It's very easy to go past the two. So just make sure you only have two there. Sometimes that third loop likes to attach itself. So go ahead and close that out. And chain one. So per uh, the lineup here, for the next round, it's going to be back loop double crochets. So there's no more increasing here, which is amazing. We love that for us. So we're going to go not into the stitch, but we're going to go above it here. And if you look, you have a front part and a back part here. We're going to go inside there and go to the back part. And then do the double crochet per normal. So we're gonna go ahead and insert a back loop half or back loop double crochet in every stitch all the way around the round. Okay, and it should look like that. Okay, continue on doing that and I will meet you at the end of this round. Okay friends, we are at the end of round seven which was the back loop double crochet so to close out the round, we need to insert the head of our hook into the very first double crochet, just like that. Grab your yarn, go through and slip to close, and it should look like that. So for round eight, it is the popcorn stitch. So for this particular one here, we're gonna chain one, and then we are going to go ahead and insert five double crochets in the very stitch that we came out of. One, two, three, four, and five. Make a bunny ear, go into the first double crochet, maybe a little wonky because it's off to the side like there, right there, but insert. Grab your bunny ear, pull on your working yarn carefully, and then go through that first stitch like that. Chain one to close it, chain one to move on. You're gonna skip that stitch and you're gonna go to the next stitch. Five double crochets. Make a bunny ear, go to the first stitch in the row, the sequence there, go into your bunny ear, pull on your working yarn, go through the first double crochet, chain one to lock, chain one to move on, and you're gonna complete that all the way around, okay? You're gonna skip one and go into the next one, skip one, go into the next one, all the way around, and I will see you at the end of the round. 
Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round eight. I just did a whole bunch of popcorns <laughs> all the way around. I will say the hat is looking very weird, but weird is good. <laughs> weird is okay. Okay, so to close out round eight, what we need to do is... Did I... Okay, chain one to lock. Okay, chain one to move on. All right. So insert the head of our hook into the top of the popcorn. Grab your yarn and pull through to slip to close. And then just lock that into place like that. Okay. So for round nine, we need to do the V stitch. Okay. And if we look at the previous row, we did the V stitches out of the popcorns which is right here. Okay, so that's kind of what we're gonna do now. All right, so. We already chained one to lock it in, and so we're gonna go back into this popcorn here. Go into the top of the popcorn, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And then just go into the top of all of the popcorns. Don't go into any of the stitches or whatever. It's a lot cleaner if you go through the top as opposed to any of the stitches on the side. It doesn't look as neat and as clean as if you went through the top. So since we can help it, we're going to do it this way. Okay. Top of the popcorn, double crochet chain one and then go back into the top of that popcorn just like that okay continue on and i will meet you at the end of round nine okay friends so i just finished round nine so to close it out there what we need to do is insert the head of our hook into that very first double crochet grab the yarn and pull through and slip just like that to close it off then chain one and then now what we need to do for round 10 we're doing double crochets so we need to make sure that we maintain 60 stitches we have 30 V stitches we have 30 popcorns so now we need to make sure that we do 60 double crochets for this round so what we what we need to do is I chained one because we're going to go and slip into the V stitch. So we're going to go inside here, grab the yarn and slip again. It should look like that. Chain one. And it should look like this. And inside every V stitch, we're going to go ahead and insert two double crochets. Just like this no chains in between we're just going to go ahead and put two double crochets inside every V stitch just like this okay continue doing this and I will see you at the end of this particular round which is round 10 Okay, friends, so I just ended round number 10, which was all double crochets. And I did so by putting double crochets in between the V stitches, as I mentioned earlier. It kind of looks like V stitches, but there's no chains. Yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and insert the tip of our hook into the very first double crochet. Grab the yarn and slip through. Just like that and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change my color since we're beginning another repeat here so I'm going to cut about that much which looks to me about a good five inches and then I'm going to bring purple so the way I add color to my project is I pull out I do like a disconnect 
I insert my hook. Then I grab about five inches or so. Insert the tip of my hook into my project. Grab the yarn, pull through, and then pull through there, which is the existing hook. Let me zoom in just a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some tension here with the new color. I'm going to do a light tie, just like this. And then I'm going to some tension there. I'm going to do another tie a second time, this time a little more firm. There we go, just like that. And I'll sew in the ends later. Let me go ahead and back out. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and repeat the five row repeat here. So um, for round 11, it is going to be half double crochets. So chain one, and then go into where we just came from, and half double crochets in every stitch. So the repeat is the same, guys. Um, I'm not going to bore you to tears by doing another rotation. I will meet you when these five rows are done. So we're going to do a half double crochet which is the round we're in. And then we're gonna do back loop, double crochet, a popcorn stitch, the V stitch, and then a double crochet. So just to recap again, it's going to be the half double crochet, and then the back loop double crochet here, and then the popcorn stitch, and then the V stitch, and then a double crochet. Then it repeats. So there's two repeats in gray. This is the third repeat. So I'm going to do the third repeat off camera and I will be back shortly. Okay, friends. So I have three repeats completed. Uh, 15 rows. I can't get over how this looks. <laughs> um, okay, so I am just going to take a quick measurement here. So it is measuring. Wait. seven and a half inches okay so I need to go to eight and a half to fit me so I'm not going to do another set of repeats what I'm probably going to do is just do a couple of rows of uh, round one which is half double crochet so I'm just going to do a couple rows of that but I'm not going to do it in the purple I'm actually going to ch uh, change my color and I'm going to go back to the gray so I'm going to cut about that much off. Okay. Let me pull my yarn up here. Okay. So we're going to go back to this gray. And what we need to do here, actually, let me pull out. Okay, so it's separate like that. Go in. Pull the new color through. Let me just make sure I have enough of a tail here. Okay. Then go through. All right. Now, that's my working yarn now. These are my two tails. So I'm going to go ahead and tie lightly. Give my working yarn some tension here, just like that, but not too tight. Taut, but not tight. And then I'm going to come back here and do another knot, but this time I'm going to go pretty tight. There we go. Okay. All right. 
So now what we need to do is I'm just going to do a few rows of half double crochet and go from there. So I've already chained one there. So I'm literally just going to go into all these stitches here. Every stitch will receive a half double crochet. Just like this. I'm going to continue on with this for two rounds. And I shall see you on the flip side. Okay, friends, so here we are, we're at the end. I finished it, I've sewn my ends, and this is what the finished product looks like. I will say the shape is kind of weird because of where the popcorn stitches landed, but all in all, it's not too bad. What do you guys think? Let me show you the inside here. Now see, that's nice too. You can see the V-stitches here. And then that's what the crown looks like. Not bad, Juan, not bad. Okay, the moment of truth. <laughs> How does this look on me? Okay. Here goes nothing, guys. <laughs> okay. It's a little loosey goosey, but that's a, it's to be expected because we did have V stitches there. Next time we have to put more close knit options on the wheel. But, what do you guys think? <laughs> Lots of fun, right? It was all in good fun. You know? So, anyway. This is my spin the wheel beanie. Look at how nice that looks off my head. <laughs> it's nice to look at. But to wear... Hmm, Let's just say it's not built it's not built for the tundra. Not bad. Okay. I give it a three out of five. You know? Construction A plus. I knew how to construct a hat on the fly, which was nice. Um, the way the wheel gave me the situation, I think you know what happened. When I landed on my choice, I should I shouldn't have picked the popcorns just because of, I guess, where it landed. I should have picked, I want to say a single crochet to kind of tighten it up a little bit. Um, but then again, it's fine the way it is. I like it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this very strange but fun episode of Spin the Wheel. This one being my beanie so spin the wheel beanie was this one if you enjoyed this please hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed and hit the bell to turn the notifications on to stay up to date with everything regarding me and my channel i'm learning as of late uh, facebook is unsubscribing people changing their notifications so just check to make sure that you're subscribed to me if you haven't already checked and then, you know, look at the notifications to see if they're on. Um, I am now going live. Um, I just had my first live recently and that was a lot of fun. Um, so I continue to want to do that. So have those on so you know when I'm going live and all the things. <laughs> so without further ado, that concludes this video. Um, until the next one, guys, take it easy and take care. Bye-bye.